We both grew up in mining towns. I grew up in the mining town called Sonora. Your dad grew up in the town of Claypool. And your dad had a lot of interest, a lot of talent, a lot of desires. He taught chemistry and, and biology during the day. And then in the evening, he would go teach English and reading. But he was also interested in politics. And at that time, late 72, early 73, his brother ran for justice of the peace. So guess who ran the campaign? Your dad, of course. So your dad got more excited about politics. So when he decided to run for office, did he come and tell you or did he just say, I'm running for office? You know, your dad and I had a relationship that whatever he wanted to do, he could do. Your dad did tell me he wanted to run for county supervisor. So he went for it. And lo and behold, he did win. Well, he was county supervisor. He appointed a first Hispanic woman to be a justice of the peace. He appointed people on different boards. Your dad was in a position to help a lot of people and in a lot of communities. And people remember what you do for them. And then there was a second election, which was Congress. Right. How did that go from county supervisor to Congress? There was a special election in 1991. So he actually left the county board of supervisors and ran in the special election. And it was a fun election. We had a wonderful campaign. Every night, people would show up after work to go out and canvas and get petition names and anything that everything that has to go on in a campaign. I was the main cook. I fed a lot of people. We had a friend who owned a produce company and it was so hot in Arizona when we were running. He would come in with a truckload of watermelons mm -hmm. and we iced down those watermelons and everybody loved those watermelons. The miners all supported him. They wanted to see a Hispanic be elected. So they backed him up. They had a lot of fundraisers. He got money from all sorts of small places. There are people that we knew in Guadalupe. They were poor and humble farm workers. And they made a collection in church. They were small amount of money. But your dad always says, I have a nickel more than I didn't have yesterday. So he was very proud of the fact that they supported him. It was a tough election. He wasn't expected to win. We were all in the trenches helping. It was a vibrant momentum that a community wanted to see happen. Your dad always, always, always cared about the community. When he campaigned, his first campaign, his slogan was, for the people and not politics. Dad was a workhorse and not a show horse. And that's what he would always say. He left a culture of giving and a culture of respecting everyone, no matter where they came from. He knew what communities needed and wanted. Thank you for remembering dad and having a chance for the stories. <laughs>